Hello, using people. Hope you're having a great day. It's early morning over here. Um, anyway, we're going to go over the four protection systems now on the A350 that you'll experience if you're a pilot. Um, hopefully not if you're a passenger. Um, in the A350, I can't stress how this new update has really improved the A350 and the Airbus version of the Aria V2 kit. So um, there's four protections on this system, the st um, stall protection, the pitch protection, the bank protection and the overspeed protection. To demo our first protection, if you pitch down to minus 15 there is a protection. The protection will set you to minus 10. It's important to note that all protections here also set you to the request mode so you will not be able to do anything until you press middle mouse button okay and it protects you up to 30 degrees attitude so no more backflips great now the next one is the bank angle protection you may not exceed minus 33 degrees or 33 degrees on the opposite side okay and again request mode will be forced in to stop you from overriding the protection system till it's safe awesome the next one is the overspeed protection to demo this we're going to need a Fourier turn off and of course you're going to need no flaps because of the drag so let's have a go at turning the Fourier off full power now this, the VNO or max speed of the A350 in terms of operating is 510 knots protection is now off and lastly is our stall protection now this is important to note that your V ref here is 130 knots but depending on your config this can change if you have no flaps your stall speed is much higher now stall speed is the V ref divided by 1.3 okay um, on Airbus planes, we use VREF to give us some good leeway from the stall speed. The VREF is not your stall speed, it's just the reference speed you should be at to avoid a stall anywhere lower. Speed. There's our stall. You'll notice in request mode, speed. 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 our stall will continue. And as you can see, our V ref this will aim for is 165. It's pitched down as well to stop us from the stall. Um, there's no more stall alarm, so we can take ourselves out onto the V ref. Okay. Now, what happens if we stall at takeoff flaps? Wait for the flaps to come in. Okay. All right. Watch the new V ref B one fifty eight, which is lower than our no flap configuration. Okay. And so now we're going to go into flaps two. going to 
pull up. And he has to see the store speed now. Speed. Store speed here is 167 at the different um, attitude that we were at. The, the important thing to know about store um, is that store is not directly um, caring about speed. It can you can store at any speed, um, and the bus you can see like I stored at 120 now the last time. Now we've stored at 100. Okay, so the store doesn't really care about your speed. Your speed, the store speed, how we get store speed is just usually some calculations like if the plane is at um, level flight and you put the thrust at what is it store at? but that's the stall speed is never indicative of what a stall is and your angle of attack is and thus the stall speed can change even in any config in different configs in different flights in different altitudes altitudes the stall speed changes to do a proper fair test you would need to be at a proper altitude same altitude same speed okay so there we go you can you can see that my stall speed happened now at 98 okay so that shows you and gives me a reverb for 128 but stall can happen anywhere but of course you want to be definitely at anywhere above 130 for the vref okay so when you're flying the plane, you will, you will get a feel of where the stall speed is, so that you know to avoid it. Speed. Okay, as you can see. So now what we're gonna do, of course, is when we're out of the stall, we're gonna give ourselves a good speed. We don't need flaps here. So that's basically the video um, done. Those are all the store protections, and that's what keeps the plane running. So our update is still aimed for tomorrow, Friday, or today, Friday. Um, more updates. The Houston pilot arrows have tested, um, especially the flare mode landing, and they're really in love with it. So everything else will just be making sure the autopilot works again still um, with the latest changes and then making sure everything else is tip and turvy and then we will release the update thanks